So, so far we introduced two formulas for the curvature. One of them, when you have R of T, and the other one is when you have a plane curve, Y equals to F of X. Let's take a look at one example for the plane curve. In that case, let Y be given to you X squared. We want to know what is find the curvature at, for example, the origin. So let us follow the formula. First, we need to have the derivative of the function, the second derivative of the function. So y prime is 2x, and the second derivative is equal to just 2. k of x becomes, well, here we have the absolute value of the second derivative, which is just 2. This is a positive number. On the denominator, you have 1 plus 2x to the second power, 4 x squared raised to 3 halves. So this is the formula that I can use for the curvature for this function. For example, when x is equal to 0, the curvature is going to be 2 divided by 1 or 2. Now, if you change these points, suppose now you want to find the curvature at 1 and 1. one and one. K of one becomes two divided by five to three halves or two divided by five times square root of five. You can uh, just rationalize this and then you have two square root of five divided by 25. Or you can leave it as two divided by five square root of so as you can see, you get different values for the curvature if you change your x values. We expect that if you graph this function, you have at different points, the function is behaving differently. The curvature of the function is going to be different.